welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Aries. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates, it's yours at that time. Aries, I'm doing your reading today with the Light Sears Tarot deck. Um, it's also, I'm going into this reading with this thought in my mind. Shouldn't we be somewhere else by now? That's the feeling I have. That's the feeling of your reading as well. It's the feeling of my day. It's snowing out again. It's May 8th. And I'm thinking it's been winter for like six months now, right? And it's, shouldn't, shouldn't we be somewhere else by now? That's the feeling of the day today. That's the feeling of your reading today, Aries. So if that's not how you're feeling, this might not be your reading. But what I'm chuckling about as I'm doing the intro is this, this dream decoder card that came out for you called Children, which is... It's funny because the description on the card doesn't really match the imagery for me. And I, I read by imagery, right? Not by um, the assigned meanings found in the books and such. So when I look at this card, I see this one at the front pout, pouting. She actually reminds me a lot of myself and a lot of my daughter. I kind of look like that as a kid, right? So pouting and looking the other way when there's fun going on back here. This ball is... You know, it's leading to something. There's something going on over here. There's fun going on over here. And yet, perhaps, Aries, you're resistant to something about it, right? It's like, well, it could be that energy, like I'm saying, of shouldn't we be somewhere else by now? It's like, well, we're on our way to somewhere. And you're saying, but we should already be there. Kind of an energy, perhaps. Because we're starting your reading with this judgment card today, which is appearing to be saying, please pull me out of this situation. It's, it's almost like a prayer or a soul calling. There's nothing really horrible going on. I'm just going to say that right now. You're reading, there's no energy in your reading. Like there's, there's anything really to be escaping from or to be rescued out of. You just have a strong desire to be somewhere else it's like you have an idea you have a dream you have a direction that maybe you feel like you've been spinning your wheels for some time and you're not getting to where you want to be or you're not where you expected to be and it's like there seems to be a lot going on maybe in the background there is a lot of direction being given it's like spirit is saying this way Aries this way is Aries and you're frustrated with it or just saying okay well I've tried that there's there's a lot of frustration in your reading a lot of frustration and wishing that we could just be there already you know with the with the four of swords and the chair hit this is talking to me about dreaming of escape which is cold play lyrics dreaming of escape that's it that's the message of these two cards you're dreaming of escaping your night, your nighttime dreams and your daytime, the eight of pentacles followed by the star night and day for you is filled with desire for escape. Again, a reference to the Coldplay song birds dreaming of escape keeps you up at night. So dreaming of running away or escaping or just movement you know this is all could just be very much like lockdown frustration right the eight of pentacles you know could be talking about work while you're working you're dream you're dreaming you're not really engaged in what you're doing i like the interpretation that um suit of cups tarot gives to the eight of pentacles which is she says it's not necessarily your work or your craft or creativity necessarily. It's just whatever you spend the majority of your day doing. The majority of your day is focusing on this, this future desire or this yet to be manifested potential, right? That you, you cannot let go of. So there's just like a, this really frustrating energy in your reading today. I and mean, maybe I'm projecting it because the snow is so aggravating to me today. I mean, it's May, right? We should be out in the sun. I should be getting a suntan. I should have my feet in the water and it's snowing outside. So, so Aries. Let's dial it back a little bit. Everything is fine, right? So we're just, we're eager to get somewhere. You're eager to get somewhere. I'm eager to get somewhere. And it's like it's filling your entire day and night. 
So, and then there, and there's also a little bit of this going on here where it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not even listening anymore to what guidance is showing me. Perhaps it could be a little bit of a tantrum happening. It's like, cause it's not happening fast enough for you or in the way that you want it to. So you're frustrated and you're like, no, I'm not playing anymore. But so what's interesting here is this whole first row here is about you just, just dreaming, 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 almost like astral projecting yourself into some other reality. And then the next line is kind of jumping into that reality. We've got the King of Wands appearing here, which he kind of surprised me today actually as he popped up. I didn't expect him. He's got a really big energy about him today. It's like, how do I explain this? This top row of cards feels very, um, you know, well, not necessarily this one because it's got a lot of light in it, but all of these cards here are kind of this like twilight, dreamy, you know, almost like I said, astral projection, dream world type energy, right? Like escaping into your dreams. And then bam, this is what we run into. It feels a lot to me like you're projecting yourself to a sunny beach where there's a sexy man waiting for you, right? And he's really into you. It's like, this is your fantasy. You're projecting yourself into your fantasy. It doesn't have to be that literal, of course, but it's talking about, well, it's a sunny beach day, right? It's not winter. So there could be a particular person that you're really wanting to be with and you're not able to at this point for obvious reasons, talking about lockdown. Um, but it could just be an ideal or, a, uh, you know, a, an ideal. It's, it's like your ideal partner, king of wands, right? Maybe you have a Leo in mind, that lion in the background. But obviously, a fiery character is what you're desiring. You're desiring heat. You're desiring heat. So, you seem to be really good, Aries, at... Removing yourself from your present environment and projecting your consciousness into this daydream, other world. It almost feels like a place you actually visit because it's like you're just suddenly plunked there. As I'm, as I'm looking at these cards, it's like, uh, uh, it's like your desire to be there is so strong that you actually find yourself there on many occasions. It's making me think of, you know, a lot of people in the, in the spiritual community have been talking a long time about like new earth, 5d earth, that kind of thing. And they've been practicing and becoming more adept at kind of traveling there astrally or out of body or in meditation or in vision. And it's interesting because a lot of times it, it, it does involve a beach for some reason, what I've heard. I've never really been able to pull that off for some reason. I'm not that good at astral travel or lucid dreaming or any of that stuff. But people that I know, including my mother, is very good at transporting themselves to this other reality. And it's like really real to them. It seems to be what you're doing, Aries. It's like you're, you're having... You're developing a relationship with somebody in, in like an alternate reality or just, you're just daydreaming, right? You're spending a lot of times daydreaming. So, but what this is talking about is what you desire is this partner clearly, or an, you know, an ideal relationship, seven of cups and the 10 of pentacles coming next is talking to me about, you know, you, you desire this, you desire a lot of options is how I'm seeing this, the seven of cups today, because it seems like whatever you're in right now is not providing a lot of options for you. It's like the path has been narrowing and the 10 of pentacles is whatever, whatever this energy or imagery means to you. I mean, you know, not everybody is looking for domestic bliss and a big family, which is kind of the energy of this card, but it's 10 of pentacles is just representing whatever you see as a really abundant, fruitful, nourishing, busy, fulfilling life, right? With a lot of options and a really incredible partner. That's what, that's where you're residing. 
completely blocking out what's going on in your environment and, and living in this vision and in, in almost an attitude of defiance in a way like, no, I'm not, I'm not really present in this, in this day to day environment that I'm in. I'm going to be over here as much as I possibly can. And then there's this interesting thing coming in here, which is almost coming through as like a separate energy with this nine of swords and the devil coming next. Well, I mean, it's really just an energy of stuckness. It's a, it's really an energy of feeling unable to make this a reality. It feels like you're having this suspicion maybe, or a, a real experience maybe in dreamscape, maybe in your astral travels, your consciousness exploration, bumping into some not so pleasant energies, feeling like there's like a density hanging around you, hanging on to you, feeling attached or bound to like a sticky substance. Did this come up in something recently? There was a reading that had like a sticky, a sticky energy in it. That's what this feels like. So, so there's that as well. It's like you, even in your attempts to escape and project, it's like you may be experiencing or bumping into some unpleasant, undesirable energy that I really want to say has, it, it doesn't really have anything to do with you. I want to, um, you know, if this is your experience, I kind of want to validate that yes there 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 are shadowy characters hanging around especially if you're doing astral exploration and such right i mean there definitely are some shady characters that that you could bump into unintentionally if you're doing a lot of this kind of out of body exploration that is a really real phenomenon so that could, that could very much be happening. I want to validate your experience of that. If you're having this feeling like something is hanging around you, you're getting, you're getting glimpses of shadowy things out of the corner of your eye, especially if this is a new thing for you, if you're just beginning to explore these territories, it's like, I almost feel like they purposely make themselves known to you. It's like, it's almost like, this is interesting what's coming through. It's almost like they take the opportunity to show themselves because they realize that you're gaining the ability to perceive them. They want to be perceived. They want to be seen. I mean, we all want to be seen, I guess, right? So it's like an energy that wants to be seen. It's not necessarily that it's holding on to you or, or, keeping you from progressing, but it is a, an unpleasant experience for you. And it is adding to your frustration or your feeling of being confined or held down. You feel like maybe you're being held down intentionally. I don't think that that is what's going on, but it is definitely an unpleasant energy like in your environment it has nothing to do with you, but you're becoming able to perceive it and so you are it's not that it's trying to attach to you or hold you in place but it is wanting to be known by you interesting so i don't think there's any concern there perhaps just acknowledging it saying i see you i do see you acknowledge it and then release it perhaps could be the answer um, but then there's this page of swords here. It's kind of backing your energy. It's interesting because it's like, it's like you're moving through that. You've got your dream world that you're exploring, or is, you know, you could look at it as like your next, your next creation developing. You're spending a lot of time in the energetic, uh, pre-manifestation of your next manifestation. And, but you're also passing through this a little bit of muckiness and maybe not sure what it is perhaps getting tangled up in it a little bit because you're trying to figure out what's going on is somebody 
purposely trying to hold me down? Is something attacking me? You know, that kind of energy, what exactly is going on? Who is this presence? Why are they around me? But like I said, I think they just want to be acknowledged. They just need to be acknowledged. So, and then it's like you come out the other side and you're at this page of swords energy, which is really fascinating. There's a lot of information in this card today. It's talking about your progress, first of all. It's like you're right there, right? It's like she's got one, maybe one more step and then she's on this, she's on this new, it's like you've crossed the abyss. This is winter. You're you're just about to step into spring, right? Is that kind of but it's like you're not aware of that. You're really focused on figuring this out. There's a lot of commotion and energy around you. I'm really noticing today there's like this wind. There's kind of this wind swirling around around you and it's kind of disorienting. It's almost like you're almost having this impulse to turn and go back. It's a, it's part of, it's part of the, the energy that's swirling around you. It could be, it could be some of this. It's like walking through this energy. It can actually be experienced, you know, perceptually or even physically in your body as wind energy. If you have any idea what I'm talking about, it's almost like it has been really windy out, right? So it's like there is almost a chaos in the air, a disturbance in the air. And when the wind goes by you like that, or you go by it, it kind of, it does kind of twist up your direction. There's also this message of preparation, like a lot of studying, gathering of ideas. It's, in, it's fascinating to me though that all these light bulbs are not lit. I feel like these light bulbs need to be lit. They're going, it's like you're searching for that, how to light these, how to, how to, it's, you know, it's, I don't know. There's something here about this. It's that energy. It's that frustrated energy of like, shouldn't we be there yet? Shouldn't this be all lit? Shouldn't we know what we're doing? Shouldn't we know what we're doing by now? Aries is the feeling I'm getting. Right? So it's like you're doing all this studying, you're doing this trying to figure it out, but there's so much going on around you. It's just kind of in your environment, in the air. It's like you're focused on trying to do your thing. You're so close, you don't realize how close you are because this energy that's, that's spinning you is, I mean, maybe you are kind of taking two steps back, one step forward, whatever that saying is. So maybe you've been kind of back and forth. It's interesting. That's maybe why winter's going on for so long. It's like maybe you have been kind of back and forth along this bridge a few times because there's this, this chaos going on, chaos in the air that has nothing to do with you. And it's like you're trying to figure out what am I doing wrong or what is this chaos in the air? How can I fix it? You know, what do I need to resolve? What shadow do I need to release in order to just finally get there? But it's like, what I'm seeing here in the cards is that it's not you. It's just in the air. There's a lot going on in the collective, right? There's a lot going on in the collective. It's like you're picking up all of that. There's a lot going on. You're picking up like the whole collective chaos of the world right now, but you're also kind of dealing with whatever this is that's wanting your attention, wanting some acknowledgement. I really feel like if you just even just look in their direction have a conversation with them. Just say, I see you. I acknowledge you. You're free to go. That they would, that it will resolve. I feel that very strongly about that. So Aries, I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. I know this wasn't very satisfying to you. I just want to leave it with, there is a lot going on. It's not, it's not all you. It's not like you're lacking an ability to figure it out or to tap into your guidance. You are, you are receiving guidance. The guidance is there. Absolutely. You're, you're maybe currently frustrated and turning away from it, but it's absolutely there. You're like one step away from the next thing being in this new place, maybe with this person, but at least on the beach, right? Maybe he's there on the beach. You're going to meet him on the beach. It's like you're one step away from, 
from finally being on the other side of this, but it's like this crescendo of chaos in the world, in the, in the air, in the weather, in the collective psyche. So it's aggravating and it's not you, and it's not your fault and it's almost over. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to continue to pull cards. I'll see you next time, Aries. Thanks. Bye.